Hey kids, we have an awesome lesson for you guys today all about Palm Sunday, which was the Sunday before Easter. But before we get into that, let's go ahead and worship together. Today's big idea is, I'm not the same, Jesus makes me different. So every time you hear me say, hey, what's the big idea? Stand up tall and say, I'm not the same, Jesus makes me different. Hey, what's the big idea? I'm not the same, Jesus makes me different. Rick. Rick, is that you? Is that you making all that noise? No. <laughs> What's the matter? I was, I, I was trying to eat all the Easter candy. You're trying to eat all of that candy? Yeah. Why? Well, I was worried that maybe we won't have Easter and you know, that's a big part of Easter is all the candy and the eggs. So no, no, Easter. no. Easter happens every year. Even though things might be a little bit different, the message of Easter doesn't change. Oh, this is embarrassing. You talked about this. You said the same thing last week. Okay, yeah, I need to focus more on the real reason of Easter. That's Jesus, not the candy. Yeah, that's right. Hey, what's the big idea? I'm not the same. Jesus makes me different. A week before Jesus died, he was entering the town known as Jerusalem. And on his way in, people began to fill the streets because they were so excited to meet Jesus. They put palm tree branches out in front of him and their coats and their jackets, and they were screaming in the streets, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. This is the King of Kings. This is the Lord. And these same people who were so excited to meet Jesus a week later were screaming at him, 
We don't want you. We don't love you. We hate you. Crucify him. Kill him. How can this happen? Our Bible verse actually helps explain that. In 2 Corinthians 5, verse 17, it says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone. The new is here. We don't want to be like the crowd who one day is so happy and in love with Jesus and the next day is denying that he's even their Lord. We are a new creation with him. When he's in our lives, our whole world changes. Nothing should be the same. Jesus isn't just a light switch that you go on and turn on one day and turn off the next to decide, eh, I don't feel like it today. It's Jesus. He's with you every day, just like we talked about last week. Hey, what's the big idea? I love the same. Jesus makes me different. Jesus makes us different. Next week is Easter, and we're going to talk about all the amazing things Jesus did for us on the cross to forgive us. So this week, I want to encourage you guys, be praying and thinking about all the changes that God has made in your life so that on Easter, you can help share the true message of what Jesus did for us. We'll see you then. Well, I guess I won't need this.